This isn't just any strawberry milk. This is strawberry milk three ways. It's important for your bones, especially this this much of it, but it has to be strawberry milk. It's a lot, that's a lot of milk. So you're here for strawberry milk, huh? That Yoohoo variety that we all know and love. We're gonna need one kilo worth of strawberries for this. The more fresh, the better. Honestly, it's very difficult to find strawberries this time of year, but you can kind of get them year round. Now for these strawberries, all you really need to do is cut them into these small bite-sized pieces and then drop them all over the counter. The reason why I'm cutting them into these smaller bite-sized pieces is so we can actually make a nice chunky jam with them. This is what you want your strawberries to look like once you're done dicing them up. Now place these back into your very large bowl and this is when we're going to macerate them. Top these off with around 100 grams worth of granulated sugar and give them a nice toss. Let them sit for around 15 to 20 minutes at room temperature, making sure you do scrape down the bowl for any additional sugars. After those 10 to 15 minutes of hanging out, you should have some liquid that's left at the bottom. This is what you're really looking for when you're soaking your strawberries like this. Now place all of this into the bowl, that liquid included. This will help release some of the juices from that strawberry. Place this into a pot and set it over a medium heat, making sure it isn't too high. You don't want to actually scorch or cook the strawberries too hard before any of those juices are released. This takes around 15 to 20 minutes to get to this point where you can actually start simmering this really hard. You do want to eventually bring it to this simmer to release any pectin in the berries. They don't have a tremendous amount, so this is very vital in making sure that your jam becomes very jammy without using any additional gelatin, pectin, or agar. Once it's cooked down for about 15 to 20 minutes after it starts simmering, let it cool down. You can place it in any mason jar you like. I place mine in one of these ones with the fancy lids that I forgot to record, but this is what our jam looks like after it's cooled down for around five to six hours, and I did let this go overnight. If you let it go overnight, it's going to be a lot nicer. Now, since we let this go overnight, this jam is ready to go. Place a small amount of your jam into your mason jar or cup of choice. Bonus points for the mason jar to make it look really rustic. Grab a really nice milk. I have some from a local dairy farm that I'm using here. Top it off with just about half of a jar worth of milk. Once you have this locked and loaded, grab your stick mixer and blend this together. The reason why I'm only blending half of it together is because I don't want to actually incorporate too much air into my milk. After you have that half ready to go, top it off with quite a bit more milk, making sure that you do top this off. Give it a quick stir and there is your strawberry milk. This is version one. This is the easy stuff. This is the good good. Grab your boba straw and give it a taste. Now I have no doubt in my mind that this is going to be delicious. There is no doubt in my mind that that is delicious, but we can do better. We have to go even further beyond the strawberry milk. That was really dramatic, but yes, it is time. Now to make this really easy and really just up the game a bit, we're going to measure out our strawberry milk. I measured out a total of 500 milliliters worth of strawberry milk and place that into a small sauce pot. Bring this over to the stove and set it to a low heat. Now measure out one gram worth of agar. This is what we're going to use to make the jelly. Now in a separate container, grab some fresh milk. We're going to up the game up with the strawberry flavor by using some powdered dehydrated strawberries. It's super concentrated powder form strawberries that you can get year round and is a really nice flavor to have as you're actually going to start layering the flavors of the strawberry. Throw in a couple of spoons worth, making sure you don't go overboard at first because it can be really strong. After giving it a quick stir to incorporate some of the dust, grab your immersion blender and blend this for just about 10 to 15 seconds. You don't want to go too long for this because we don't want too much air. After you've fully blended up all that strawberry, this strawberry milk is ready to go and you can kind of drink it like this and remember, give it a taste. Mine felt like it needed just a touch more strawberry flavor, so after giving it another spoon full, I gave it a quick blend. Now this is ready to go. I'm going to place this in my mason jar and throw a lid on it to let it sit for a few hours in the fridge while we deal with everything else. Now that our strawberry milk on the stove is at a low heat, add your one gram worth of agar and make sure that it is as blurry as possible to demonstrate us blending it. Remember not to blend too long because we don't want too much air in our strawberry milk. After you've blended all of that agar together, give it a quick stir just to make sure there aren't any big clumps of agar because they won't dissolve after this. Now agar does need quite a bit of heat to activate, so make Make sure you bring your milk up to a simmer, making sure you stir it constantly so this way it doesn't boil over because no one wants to clean up that milky mess on your stovetop. After four or five minutes, this should be ready to go. Now we're going to let this cool down in a square container. You can use really any container. The square one is just going to make it easier to cut later. Yes, I did say cut because this is going to be our strawberry jelly boba thing. This does need to cool down for around half an hour because agar sets quickly, but it won't take too long and I let mine just go overnight. Now the next day, my agar was ready to go as you can see from this demonstration of me throwing this around. Now release it with a small boat.
butter knife, just making sure that you peel back the edges. This will just make your life easier and then place it onto a cutting board. You can see what that strawberry looks like in the agar and it looks really, really neat. Slice off a small chunk of it from the side and observe the beautiful interior of this agar jelly. Now we wanna cut these into bite-sized pieces that will eventually fit through a boba straw. I ended up cutting mine just a bit too big for my boba straw, so just keep that in mind. So what I'm showing you here, they should be slightly smaller than this. Now I did end up cutting all of my strawberry jelly just in case I wanted to make a second one, but this is all of my strawberry jelly and this is ready to go. Now bonus points for your mason jar. Grab some more of that beautiful jam we had just made, placing a few spoonfuls worth at the bottom, followed by a good portion of your strawberry jellies. Now we have our strawberry milk ready to go. This is the one with the dehydrated strawberries. Fill up your mason jar as much as you would like, making sure you get the sexiest pour possible. Top it with a boba straw and there is Gintama strawberry milk upgraded. There it is guys, the strawberry milk from Gintama and granted this is my own take on it and I think adding just a few different things and taking some more time and adding those things to it makes a huge difference in the overall vibe and the overall taste of the drink because now we're gonna have bits of strawberry jelly and the strawberry jam along with the strawberry milk. So cheers, this is, I'm on a diet, shouldn't be having this. The strawberries are slightly tart, slightly sweet. The jelly itself gives it this, this chewy texture that I really love, that I look forward to in getting boba. This is super easy, and if you buy the dehydrated strawberry, you can make it year round. It is a little expensive, so just keep that in mind. Just like you should keep in mind the merch down below. My name is Chef PK, get subscribed, and remember, keep playing with your food. All right, this is going to Rachel, because I'm on a diet, sad face.